Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you. This one is from Am I the Asshole? Probably are. And the title is Am I the Asshole for Telling My Dad He's Not Allowed to Give His Speech at My Wedding? My fiance and I both in our 20s are getting married in a month and there's a dispute with my dad and he claims I'm being unfair, but I wanted to get some thoughts on it. So dad decided he was going to give a speech at the wedding without saying anything first. He had shared the contents of said speech with his sister, my aunt, and she knew the speech would not sit well with me and mentioned his plan to me. (laughs) Ha ha. Knew the speech would not sit well with me. What kind of bullshit is this guy slinging? So in the speech he already wrote, he talks a lot about his wife as the love of his life, how amazing she is, etc. It's very similar to the speech he gave at their vow renewal 10 years ago. He hasn't shied away from expressing in front of me and to me that he never loved anyone like he loved his wife, how all his past relationships pale into comparison. And that includes my mom, who was his first wife, who left him widowed with an eight-year-old son at the time. To make it even more difficult to hear, the vow renewal was held on my 18th birthday, and I got to celebrate my birthday by hearing Dad talk about how Mom meant nothing because his second wife was so much better. That's not cool, man. Come on. They were married eight years at the time, but a lot of family and friends didn't attend their actual wedding, and they decided they'd basically have a second one to celebrate, and they decided my birthday was the perfect time to do this. Anyway, the speech he wrote for my wedding had a lot of this content from what my aunt heard. That's right. I said aunt this time. I can't be bougie anymore. From my dad and read herself. She knew on my wedding day, the last thing I needed to hear was how much he adores his wife when he does so in a way that basically said my mom meant nothing to him. I told him I knew about the speech and he didn't have permission to give the speech at my wedding. Dad asked, why not? And I told him I didn't want him to use my wedding to praise his wife. He said, she means the world to us, so why would I say that? I told him, she means the world to him. But she pales in comparison to my mom, who meant the world to me and still does. I told him he might have decided mom meant nothing, but that didn't mean I shared his feelings. He accused me of being sensitive You're being sensitive. And then said it seemed like I didn't care about his wife at all. And then he said she was a good mom to me for the eight years she raised me. I told him she was never anything more than his wife. My mom died when I was wait and my mom died when I was eight and I didn't get a new one. And the last thing I needed to hear is how little she meant on my wedding day. Dad told me to be reasonable and the parents of the bride and groom typically said something. I told him nothing he had to say had a place at my wedding that this is mine and my fiance's wedding not his i told him to get married again if he wants to do all of, if all he wants to do is praise his wife but it was not happening at my wedding he told me to stop acting like a little boy and grow up i left then his wife called crying about the fight dad and i had which led to dad calling me again and telling me to grow up again am i the astronaut furkner no nta um nta Dad's coping mechanism was to amplify and project, but just assumed everybody else was along for the ride. And, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, he, he lost his wife too, right? So, so maybe he never dealt with that. Never, maybe he never, never got closure from that. Maybe he, I mean, how, how would you, but maybe his way of dealing with, with that was to just throw himself completely into this new relationship and never look up from it. Uh, but never once be a real father that that can step inside his son's mind and say, how would I feel if? Never put himself in his son's shoes. Never think about how it would affect him. Only did what was good for him and assumed it would be good for everybody else without ever talking to them. And it, I mean, from the sound of it, OP and his and daddy's wife, which the fact that that she's referred to as that throughout the entire story tells you all you need to know about the relationship between OP and her. She was never even a stepmom. Like, never even got the title stepmom. Not bonus mom. Bonus mom. Stepmom. Dad's wife. It's 100% okay to love your spouse. Like, over the moon love your spouse. I hope you find someone that makes you unashamedly profess your love in front of thousands of people. Love you, Candy Thunder. It's not okay to push that on your children and expect them to just be okay with it and to do it in a way that, that, that doesn't just shit on the memory of their mother, but do it in a way that also, that also shits on a part of them. How many times when dad was giving his speeches, did he look at his son, see a 
tear roll down his cheek and, and think, oh, he's just, he's happy. Navy Thunder would say, are you happy? It's like after she gets in trouble and you get mad or something like after she, yeah. Are you happy? Uh, this is bullshit. It's your wedding, number one. So it doesn't matter why you get to say yes or no. He doesn't want to do it for anything, any other reason than the reasons you already know, which is to, to soapbox for his wife. And why? It's like every time he gets, every time he gets people, every time there's a congregation of people in any way, shape, or form, he's like, ah, oh, open mic night, bet. I'm going to go reuse the, the speech I gave for my vow renewal. It's not his life anymore. You know what I mean? His son has an independent life. His son is trying to start another chapter. And guess what, dad? By pushing this further and further and further, by the way, calling someone sensitive is not, not an insult. Too sensitive, maybe. Like insensitive, sure. But you're being sensitive. Everyone's sensitive. He's sensitive to his love for his wife. You're sealing the deal, dad. On having a, a, your son having an adult life that you aren't part of. That's all you're doing right now. All you're doing is harming your ability to have a, a meaningful and fruitful and lengthy relationship with your child. And then grandchild. But that grandchild's going to be part OP's mom. And she's, you know, she pales in comparison to your new wife. So are you going to care about your grandchild? 